Hey guys, what's up? Prestige Pokemon back here again today. And today I want to talk to you guys about fake Pokemon cards. Um, I know there's probably a lot of topics out there on this, um, on this, a lot of videos out around this topic. Um, but it seems like every time I go on YouTube and look at Pokemon videos, there's still people out there who are opening up uh, cards, there's still people out there selling cards and not realizing the difference between fake and authentic Pokemon cards. So today I'm going to just touch on a couple of the topics and hopefully I can clarify it for a couple of people. Um, so recently, or I, I've got back into collecting Pokemon probably about a year ago. And when I did, I went on, bought a booster box, not realizing that there were fake cards. And lo and behold, I ended up with a $30 fake booster box. So since then, I've done my research, learned a lot about it. And it hasn't happened to me again. But it's a shame that people who just start out collecting end up losing some money to cards that aren't actually what they're looking at collecting. So, um, for example, you go on eBay and you search in Pokemon Booster Box or Pokemon Cards. Typically, uh, you'll see some of the lots like the one I'm going to flash up here on the screen. So this is a Booster Box lot. Uh, typically, they go anywhere from... I've seen them from twenty to thirty to forty dollars Canadian, so that's around fifteen to thirty dollars American. Um, and a lot of people think they're going to get a good deal, but there's a few things you got to watch out for in this here, and I'll uh, keep it up while I explain. So the first thing is you're not going to find booster box for this price. Um, I haven't seen them this cheap since collecting. Typically, the cheapest I've seen them have been maybe sixty dollars American or ninety dollars. Canadian that's the bare minimum you're probably going to get it for and if you do you're really lucky um, the cheapest I've gotten one for is $110 Canadian which works out to be about $75 American uh, cheap as I've seen a booster box for now if you're a store or you're a retail or your your shop you're probably going to get them for a bit cheaper um, you also got to watch out for in the wording so usually you see things like uh, flash cards or proxy cards uh, so that's got a lot to do typically when you see those words it should be a red flag that these are fake cards um, also the coloring looks really different on the booster boxes as you can see in that picture and uh, also you this is a very very common one you see in these fake cards it says 324 pieces in a booster box so that works out to be nine cards per pack as you can see these are XY series uh, booster boxes and anyone knows the XY series packs contain 10 additional game cards so if there's nine cards in each one of these packs from an XY series right there you should know it's fake um, also when we flick over to the description you'll also see words like flash cards or proxy cards uh, for this one I found here this one actually says or tells them that they're copy cards so that's uh, good on them that they're telling you that it's fake copy cards and it's not the authentic. Um, also people buying singles online, so I'll flash up a, a page here now. If you're buying single Pokemon cards or Pokemon card lots on eBay, um, you're going to be careful of that as well because these are harder to tell as you can't really see the booster boxes. But if you're looking online, typically these cards look, uh, they have like the rainbow color is a bit more definitive. They don't look uh, like a natural card. Uh, again, they have the word flash or proxy in the description. Um, and you see the word pieces a lot, like 12 pieces, 20 pieces per lot. So that typically tells you how um, these cards are fake. So that's just a couple, like when you're looking on eBay or you're looking online, that's some of the key words that are going to stand out to me when you're uh, purchasing a booster box online. Uh, if, you're, if you're looking to buy one off someone and you don't want to get ripped off and you're still not sure what you're looking for, a couple things when you buy a booster box. So I have a, a, a real booster box here. It's a real uh, sealed Celestial Storm booster box. I don't have any fake ones here. The only one I did I opened a while ago. But as you can see this one has Pokemon, the Pokemon symbol with the Pokeball there. So if you're buying a booster box and you don't see that on the cover, on the outside wrapping, should be a red flag right there. 
as well. The color on the Rooster Box tends to be different. Um, almost like it, it pops out more it's brighter on these fake boxes as opposed to the real boxes. So if you're looking, seeing a brighter green, it's probably a fake Celestial Storm Box. And then here on the side, you can see how the packs kind of face front to back. So you can count them one, two, three, four, and they keep going back this way. In fake booster boxes, the packs actually run from the front or from the side to side facing. So opposite of what you see here. So actually you'll see the full face of the card right here. Or full face of the pack. So again, another red flag. So if you're purchasing a booster box off someone online, or in person, sorry, that's what you want to watch for. Make sure it has the Pokeballs and the Pokemon symbol. And make sure the packs are running front to back. Next thing, if you're purchasing single packs in person or even online, you're going to want to know the difference in that. So right here, I have a real pack of Ancient Origins. And then I have one of those fake packs that I got when I first started collecting again. So these are just a few of the packs I have left from when I bought that fake booster box without realizing it. So as you can see right here, they're pretty close. Both the uh, their symbols are very similar. Um, you see the age is up here in the corner is one of it. One giveaway that this is the real pack. If you see the age down lower like you do with this one. Typically a fake pack. As you noticed earlier, I said that this that XY has 10 additional cards. Well, this one says 10 additional cards too, but actually when you open it, there's only 9 in it. So if you open a pack and there's only 9 cards in it, it tends to be fake as well. And again, the color. You can see the color on the fake one tends to be more bright, more shiny. It pops more. The actual cards, you don't see that. So the, the authentic booster packs, it's not as shiny or not as silvery or as the fake cards and also just the packaging this one's packaged very loose um, you can kind of move the wrapping it's not hooked on like the safety seals are, oh that one did have it at the bottom but it's not on both sides like if you look at this one this one's tight on both sides top and bottom so yeah so that's basically how you tell the difference between packs um, so I know I'm a Pokemon card opening, so we're going to crack some of these fake packs as well as the real packs. And I'm also going to show you what you get inside. So we might as well start with these fake packs. So we're going to crack these. I'm not going to keep these cards. I'm not a fan of fake cards at all. They uh, ruin the game, especially for uh, little kids who are play playing and collecting. So the first thing I notice is they feel really waxy. It's not like a cardboard, they're just, it's like a playing card almost, like if you're playing poker. So you can see a lot of the cards, oh these actually have all the cards from uh, Ancient Origins. But then I look at the rare, and it's a Skarmory. So you're going to get an Ultra Rare in every one, you're going to get an EX in every one, it's guaranteed in these fake packs. But if you look down the bottom, you can actually see the symbol is from the XY base set. So what's an XY base set doing in an Ancient Origins pack? So that's a give me right there on how it's fake. So let's crack some more of these just to see what the Ultra Rare is in each one. They don't open as well as a normal booster pack either. So again, I know you get cards upside down in regular booster packs too, but right off the get go, you can see they're all upside down, so it's probably a red flag as well. So again, you get all these cards, they feel like poker cards. And then we're going to get another one. This one is from, I think, Fates Collide, or if I do believe that symbol is right. So again, another EX, but again, not really an EX. So we'll crack some more just to see what the EXs are, and then I'll compare to the actual pack. So we got a Minetric, this one's from Phantom Forces. Another one. So again we get a Pikachu, this one's actually a promo card. So why are we getting promo cards inside fake packs? And one more fake pack, or one more, uh, I guess, knockoff they would call them. And we got a full art in this one from Dragon's Exalted. 
And again, it doesn't have the texture on the card, so that's how you can tell the full arts typically are textured, and they are a bit more shiny than this. So let's actually open a real pack of Ancient Origins that I just had lying around. So again, these packs, I'll just take that last one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards, as opposed to ten. It said ten on the packaging, but we didn't get ten. So we'll open up this one. So first off, we know the actual packs have code. So you guys can have that code. And anyone who knows the XY set knows the card trick should be three and then two. So let's see what we get inside this pack. So we got some real cards. We'll count them as we go. So unknown magic card that's two. Quagsire is three. Spinner X is four. Whooper is five. Erdos is six. Ace Trainer is seven. Slagoo eight. The nine, which is a reverse hollow, which we didn't have any reverse hollows in those fake packs. And then the rare goes to a Kiram EX. Full art. Wow, look at that. I wasn't expecting to get anything today in, in the opening, but we pulled a full art here. And I guess it's a great example to compare to full arts. No texture on this one. We have some texture on this Kiram right here. So what a great pull here today. Just showing you guys this uh, these fake cards. So I'm just going to lay that in the back and sleeve that up after. But again, like I said, fake cards feel like almost like playing cards, like poker cards. There's no texture on these full arts. And then, if you're really confused, you're really not sure if your cards are fake or not, take one that's not worth very much, like a common or a basic, rip it. So this one, you can just see the cardboard on the inside. No lines, nothing like that. You take a real card, so let's see, probably just one of the basic ones that I might have. We'll go with the spin rack, I know I have this one. So, we tear that one, you can see it has the ink in the card. There's almost like a black line that runs through from where the ink is to the back part. So again, that's how we tell if your cards are real or fake. Last resort, I don't want you guys tearing Pokemon cards. You should be able to tell just by the texture of them. Again, these feel really glossy. Fake ones do, really glossy, almost like poker cards. And then you get these, which have a bit more texture to them and feel a bit heavier. So guys, uh, I'd like to thank everyone for watching today. I know it might have been a bit long. Um, I just wanted to get away from my regular openings just to share. Like I said, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos lately on people opening Pokemon cards. And they haven't been, some people have been opening fake cards without even realizing it. And I've been commenting on a couple of people's videos saying, uh, do you realize these are fake cards or uh, are you sure they're real cards and things like that? And some people have been asking me, well, how do you know? How do you know? Well, I figured I'd do this video a little bit informative for people. And uh, if you have any questions, always feel free to message me in the comments. Or you can look me up on Instagram at, Prete at Prestige Pokemon. I'm happy to, or happy to help you any way I can. So guys, uh, thank you all for watching. We did get this lovely Kirami X. I have our one pack of Phantom or uh, Ancient Origins. So I'm very happy about that. So make sure you guys hit that notification bell, subscribe to the channel, and like this video. Until next time, enjoy the day.